What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the drop rate for Mythic Leads. This has been a big topic of conversation since the High Isles chapter has dropped uh, for the PC side of the game. Of course, all of us here on console, like myself, we have to wait another couple weeks before we get the High Isles chapter. But we're going to experience some of these same issues to where you have tons of players, you know, kind of flocking to these areas where you get these leads and really it's really just frustrating because a lot of people don't have the time to farm it for a really long time. A lot of people have really bad RNG, whatever the case may be. Uh, it is something that I think Zosh should look at. And a lot of people want the drop rate for Mythic Leads maybe uh, kind of increased for the first couple weeks of an expansion. I'm not really sure if that's going to be the key to fixing this. And I think a lot of people in the forums kind of agree uh, a lot of people have the same feeling about this as I do. Uh, the drop rate is really not the problem as much as the spawn rate. So if you have to have a, a you know a certain lead from a world boss, and that world boss takes 15 minutes to respawn, or if you have to have a, a dungeon boss, you know a, a public dungeon boss um, has you know you have to kill it to get the lead. And sometimes those may respawn really quickly. You may not even get a drop off of it every time. These things take way too long to spawn in. And that makes it even more frustrating. Same when it comes to strong boxes. Now, some people say strong boxes in towns take 10 minutes to come back. Me personally, I've sat on some strong boxes before uh, doing other things and it takes almost 30 minutes for them to come back. And that is very frustrating, especially right now with everybody going to Merkmire trying to get that lead. There's not a lot of strong boxes there to begin with. So you may get there and there may be someone sitting at every area where these strong boxes spawn in. And until somebody gets the lead and leaves that certain area, you're going to kind of be stuck with, you know, not really any ability to be able to get those leads from those strong boxes. So I think it's just with the amount of players that are trying to go to these zones and do these things is probably the main frustration because there's so many players there. Things are spawning up so quickly if it comes to world bosses or dungeon bosses and die pretty much instantly. Sometimes you might not even get credit for hitting it. And then when it comes to finding things in strong boxes, we know that's a kind of a frustration in its own. It kind of reminds me of last year, of course, you know, when we had the Harpooners Waiting Kilt lead and everyone was pretty much in Shadowfin standing on one specific water node because if they knew, you know, if they moved around, they were not, we're not probably going to find any more because that's what everyone was doing. At least on the console side, everybody was just standing pretty much on each individual node. And that made it a very frustrating process because some players were not able to get the lead for two, three, four days because they may not have had the time. And some people had really bad luck and stood there all day and still did not get the lead to drop for several days. I think Zoss maybe, I mean, it would be a great idea to increase the drop rate uh, for Mythic Leads during the you know first several weeks of expansions like people have talked about. I think also increasing the spawn rate of certain things would be another plus. But overall, I'm kind of hoping Zoss in the end looks at how they put Mythic Leads into the game. I think Mythics are a great thing that's been added to DSO. By no means, I want to see them go away. But I wish Zoss would figure out ways that, you know, they really could find places and things that players could do to where they know if a lot of the community is going to go out and farm these leads for the first two weeks, three weeks, month, whatever the case may be. It's an area to where you can find a plentiful amount of whatever you need. That way... You don't have a frustration with spawn times of the thing you're looking for. You don't have a frustration of having a ton of players there. And you also don't have the frustration with the drop rate for the Mythic Lead either. Because it seems like some of them sometimes have such a low drop rate or a low chance to you know kind of drop from what you're doing that it just takes way too long to farm it. I know it's not something I want you to be able to get right away and be done and you know over with in like five minutes. But at the same time, I think Zoss could look at several different aspects of, of how they do the mythic leads and probably figure out a better way to make mythic leads a little easier to obtain or at least certain mythic leads a little bit easier to obtain. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet please do so and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.